Hey y'all, we're starting season two this week of the Andy Griffith Show. This week's episode title is Opie and the Bully. Barney, tell us what's going on this week. Well, Andy is naked lunch for Opie, the Thor leaves for school, and then she gives him the lunch, and she gives him the nickel for milk. And then Opie goes to Andy and asks him for a nickel for milk too. And Andy gives it to him. And then later Andy finds out from that day that Opie got two nickels that morning. So he says he's going to look into it. And then the audience sees a shot of why Opie wants uh, two nickels every morning. He's getting extorted for his milk money by this bully named uh, Sheldon. But Andy doesn't know that yet. Yeah, and then at night, Andy goes to Opie's dead room while Opie's getting ready from bed. And he asks him about the two nickels. And Opie says, well, I figure if I ever lose the first one, I'll always have the second nickel so I can still buy milk. And Andy says, did you lose the first nickel today? And in order to avoid answering the question, Ulti yawns and acts like he's falling asleep. And then the next day, Andy talks to me about it in the courthouse. And I have to tell him, yeah, Ulti asked me for a nickel that day too. So that was three nickels. So um, you decide to find out what's going on. You follow Opie to school the next day and you see this extortion taking place and you go back and you report to Andy. Yeah, I say, Andy, it's as plain as the nose on your face. It's just downright extortion is what it is. And I say we ought to go to this noise daddy and straighten this out right now. But Andy says, no, he wants to handle it another way. So the next day, Andy and Ulti are fishing together. And Andy starts telling Ulti the story of when he was Ulti's age, this bully chased Andy off of his favorite fishing spot. Oh, and he said he didn't feel good about himself, uh, allowing that to happen to him. Yeah, and Andy continues with the story. He says the next day, he decided to fight for his fishing spot. And it cost him a touch in the nose, but he sure did feel that are done himself after that. And so the next day, Ulti brings some clean clothes to the courthouse on his way to school. And he asks his daddy if he can keep them for him. Oh, y'all figure he's going to get in a fight that day over his lunch money, and he figures his clothes are going to get messed up, so Andy says yes. Yeah, and then Ulti goes to school, and Andy and I are sitting there wondering if the fight has taken place yet. And I say, I'll go check it out, and Andy doesn't want me to. And I say, well, I just want to watch. And then Andy starts wondering if he did the right thing, encouraging Ulti to fight. But then Ulti comes in with his clothes all rumpled and with a black eye. And Andy notices the black eye. And he looks at me and says, now ain't that a nice one? And I say, Andy, I ain't seen a nicer looking shiner in all my born days. And then Ulti gives the two nickels back. One to Andy and one to me. Uh, and then doesn't Andy try to put a raw steak or a piece of meat on Opie's eye to, to heal the black eye? Yeah, and then Andy sees that Opie doesn't want him to do that. Because he sees his black eye as a symbol of the fact that he stood up for himself. Thank you all for uh, starting Season 2 with us. We'll see you next week for Episode 2 of Season 2. Thanks for coming to the site.